It is the biggest environmental project of its kind, possibly anywhere. And it's happening right at the Nashville International Airport. Our Rebecca Schleicher joins us with a story about an old quarry that's keeping the airport cool. Rebecca. Rory, 18,000 people come through this airport every single day, and I'm willing to bet almost none of them think about how the air conditioning works. But with a million square feet to cool, it can actually be a very costly and wasteful endeavor. This is a place with pristine blue water, wildlife, and nature. It's also a place on the property of the Nashville Airport. It is pretty monumental, pretty amazing, really. Robert Ramsey is the airport's chief engineer. He offered to show us around the 43-acre rock quarry. About a third of the quarry was filled in so they could build this runway back in the late 90s. Now, the land's not just for looks. It's a sustainable way to air condition the entire airport. And it's uh, the largest project in uh, North America and, and we think maybe the world. In some places, the rock quarry goes all the way down 285 feet below the surface. At first, they didn't know what to do with it. They thought filling it in could take two years, even working 24 hours a day. So they decided to use the resource instead. You're just using the quarry, the coolness in the quarry, like going into a, a deep cave where it's at 50, 57 degrees year round. The airport pumps the water in its cooling system out to the quarry through these pipes. Once that water is cooled, it's sent back to the terminal. Anytime. Replacing the old AC, they expected to save more than $400,000 a year, but after a month of testing. Early indications, we're doing a little better than, than double. Than that. Saving 30 million gallons of water for the environment and costs for the airport otherwise <laughs> sky high. Huh? Now they don't expect anything to happen. That quarry has been there uh, quite a while, but they do have to have emergency plans just in case one of those airplanes for some reason does ever end up in that water. Reporting live at the airport, Rebecca Schlenker, News Channel 5. So interesting. Thanks, Rebecca. By the way, that water is completely drinkable. The airport is officially turning the valve in a ceremony tomorrow morning to kick off this new, more sustainable era.